Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I have a exciting video for you. I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel, which I've talked about before, and this series will be called TBR Rewind. So basically what that means is I'm going to look back a year ago for the current month. So this will be my very first TBR Rewind video for the month of September. And I'm going to look at that TBR and I'm going to pull books that I have not read from that TBR and I'm going to place them on my new TBR. So there are some rules to this because I do get a lot of my books from the library. So um, if there are books on my TBR that are from the library, I have an option. I can either read those books from the library or I can pick books from my TBR jar to read. Um, if I do pick books from the library and I don't read them, then what that means is I'm going to have to take that many books off of my TBR shelves and unhaul them. Now, this can be any book I want, but mo mostly it's going to be books that have been on my shelves for over a year. So this may keep me from getting a book from the library that I'm just kind of interested in um, and not wasting my time. And then also, if I pick from my TBR jar and I don't read them, then if it's a book and it's over a year old, if it's a book I know I'm going to want to read, then I can save that book, but I have to go on my shelves and pick a book and unhaul it. So it's going to be a book for a book and it's going to help me kind of cull my shelves if you will because I do have over 250 books that I have not read and I'm having a hard time taking them off my shelves because I may want to read them one day and that's just silly. I'm, I mean I have so many books on my shelf and I'm such a slow reader it would take me the rest of my life to get through them all and there's no sense of holding on to them. Um, also with this, I'm going to be going on a book no buy. So I'm going on a book buying ban until um, my birthday, which is in February. Now this is going to exclude pre-orders and um, the next book in a series. So if I'm currently reading a series and I don't have the next book, I'm able to buy that. So if I do break my bu book buying ban, then I have to take a book off my shelf and unhaul it. Um, I've had so many books on my shelf for years and I've just never read them. So. I'm just holding myself accountable this way and hopefully I'll be able to get rid of some of the books that have been there forever and if I do want to read them I can always go back to the library and get them but chances are I'm probably going to forget all about them. I'm never going to pick them up and you know no harm no foul right? Okay so let's talk about September. So last September was when I started my booktube channel so I'm coming up on my one year anniversary and I have no idea what I'm going to do for that. Um, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas or anything you would like to see, let me know down below and then I will check into them. Um, so in the month of September, I participated in the first round of Diversathon and um, I had four books on that TBR and then I also had additional seven books that I put in my September TBR. Now I've already went back and watched those videos um, and I'll just talk about the books now that I have. So for my Diversathon TBR, I had four books, like I said. The first was Homegoing by Yaga Ayasi. I've read it. As I Descended by Robin Talley. I've read it. If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. I've read that. Labyrinth Lost by Zorada, Zoreda Cordova. And I've read that as well. So, so far I'm up to off to a good start. Now I don't want you guys to think that this is going to be a boring series because I promise as the months go by, the worse the TBRs get, <laughs> and the, the less amount of books I read from those TBRs. Um, and then I also have seven additional books that I have put on my TBR, and out of those seven, I've read five. So I do have two books that I have to decide what I'm going to do. The books that I read in the month of September last year were Furthermore by Tahira Mafi, The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier, Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll, and Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, and Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. There were two books on my TBR from September that I did not read, and those were The Blackbirds by Eric Jerome Dickey and Jacoby by William Ritter. Both of those books were from the library, so um, after thinking about it, I think that I'm just going to pull some books from my TBR jar. I am still interested in reading Jacoby by William Ritter, but I don't think I'm interested at all interested at this time and I don't want to force myself to read anything especially if it's not on my shelf because I will have to get rid of something if I don't end up reading it. So I'm just going to pick those two books from my TBR jar here so let's just do that real quick. I chose The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead so I have not finished the Vampire Academy series um, so I'm going to continue on with the next book in Vampire Academy which I think is Shadow... Is it Shadow Spell? I don't know, it's the third book. So I've read the first two, I have not read the third. So I'm gonna add that to my September TBR. And then the second book. Oh, 
how sweet. And then I picked Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, and I'm going to add that one to my TBR. Both of them I'm really excited about, so that's a good start. Hopefully I read them both in the month of September so that I don't have to unhaul anything. That would be great. And um, I hope you guys are excited about this series as I am. I, you know, encourage everyone to participate. Um, you know, I think it's going to be fun to look back on my TBRs every month. I really enjoy Lala's closet unhauls that she does every month, so this is kind of inspired by that a little bit. I just know that I'm really bad at making TBRs and not sticking to them, so I'm hoping this will let me get rid of books that I've been holding on to forever, plus making more cognizant decisions when I make my TBRs for the month. So. Thank you all for watching. Um, you guys should go follow me on Twitter and Goodreads. Both of those links are linked down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.